it's friday night it's 10 o'clock nothing gets past me and a very very warm welcome to our TikTok and to our internet phone in massive stuff and there we are we're live on linkedin on twitch on TikTok, on facebook and we're welcoming everybody on twitter as well good evening scotty happy friday says the wonderful drewski from Ontario in Canada. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome, I say to Drusky. Tremendous stuff. Now then, lots to talk about, so little time to do it in. So there we go, and uh, we'll get sorted. Fantastic stuff. Hang on a second. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> now, we'll sort that, and I'll have to sort this out as well. Tremendous stuff. What's going on here, I ask you? There we go. Right, we're going to do a little bit of sorting out here and see if we can stop to all this, all this noise that's going on. My goodness me, what are we to do with you, I say? Uh, give us a call as soon as you possibly can and we will get sorted. I'm just working away at something here. will just be a second. So there we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's fantastic. That's good stuff. There we go. And we'll do that there. And that you there. Wonderful. Right. That should be getting sorted out now, guys. Lovely to be with you. And dinky do, I say. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hold on a second. We can't hear you. Just give me a little bit of a second till I see what's going on here. Now then. Right and right, right. That's wonderful. There we are. Hang on. Just be with you in a second. There we are. Don't dash off, Kareem. You know what it's like on here. You dash off, you can't get back on again. I say to you. There we are. Right. Hello. Hello, Scotty. Can you ah, hear me? We can hear you now. That's fantastic. We have to check everything out when something like that happens. Uh, yeah. I could hear you ringing, but I couldn't get to you, if you know what I mean. Yes, oh, these things happen, don't they? Oh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Now then, what's happening tonight, I say to you? Just a, a couple of wee things. The first thing is that uh, just your thoughts on about the, the Queen. She's been told to rest for two weeks. Now. She's... Yes, I'm slightly concerned, obviously. Uh-huh. Because, um, you know, I mean, although having said that, she really was working very hard. You see, she'll also do her red boxes. So she's probably up very early in the morning and perhaps maybe quite late to bed at night. Yes. So so yes. I think, at, at, you know, at 95, in her 96th year, I think she perhaps should be taking things a bit easier. Yes. Um, they said that she's to just do work from her desk. Um, but just to rest, basically, for the next two weeks. Yes, yes, and uh, just get our strength back. But think about it, Kareem. I mean, you're a school teacher. You know what it's like. End of term, you think, oh, I need to get, uh, I need to just give my, myself a break here. I feel that now. Aye, absolutely. I mean, I think everybody feels it when the winter comes in. You think, yeah. you know, you go, oh, is that the time at six o'clock in the morning, you know? I know, I know, I know. I think it's a remarkable age that she's still working and doing so much. Yes, like yes. I mean, I think we've got to look at the positive side, but I am a little bit concerned that, uh, you know, because they'll be making sure they play it down a bit, uh -huh. you know. Yeah, and She could have a cold or just like a wee infection. A wee, infe a wee chest infection or a wee touch of bronchitis, you know what I mean? And uh -huh. these things yeah. are very debilitating, as you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at this time of the year as well, with the colds going around, etc. So yes, yes, rest. all that. And and let's be honest, she's also been bereaved very recently. Yes. And she will oh, probably wow. be missing Prince Philip's input. Yes, that will have a very big psychological effect on her, you know, the change. And, well, just yeah. that, I mean, you know, I'm not saying latterly she would discuss everything with him, but they would no doubt maybe phone a couple of times a day and have a little chat. And she might run some stuff past him and he might make a comment on it and that stuff because, you know, he's, he, he was there as support all of her working life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you know, so so that all that sort of stuff. I mean, stacks and stacks um, of 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 different things. So I I don't think it's a time for panic, but I think it's a time for caution. Yes, yeah, just wish I could take it well soon. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. Lovely to have you with us. Now, uh, what else were you thinking? There was another two wee things. Another uh -huh. one was the. I do not think it's very. I, I mentioned this last night. It was quite hypocritical that we've got COP26 starting on Sunday. Yes. And the UK government, Boris Johnson, has organised this for Scotland. And yet, when they have decided to put rubbish uh, sewage into the streams and rivers, and I actually showed you a picture earlier on, and it was disgusting. Boston. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. I mean, as I said last night, all of Scotland was like that at one point. Yes, but do you not think that's hypocritical that they're promising we're going to make the environment so much better and then they're doing the total opposite? Well, the whole thing is, you see, what I find interesting is that the, the media is wanting now to get away from just being stuffed full of the pandemic. Uh -huh. So the mainstream uh -huh. media is thinking, what next? So we've got a climate change emergency. Now, if it had been so much of an emergency, I mean, this is something, I mean, the, the, the earth has been warming, warming up for, for, for millions of years. Yeah. So we know that because we don't any longer have the ice age. So we know the earth's been warming up now. Uh, we also know that uh, 150 years to 200 years of industrial revolution would be quite a pollutant. Yes, and some countries are just getting into what we were getting into a couple of hundred years ago. Yeah. You know? China so, would be one. Um, yes. I think they're the biggest culprit. China and perhaps Russia. Our dear friends in Russia, so suddenly to be going, no, no, it's an emergency, as if to say, if this isn't sorted by tomorrow, the earth's gone. Oh, yeah. You know, and the other thing that we don't get to hear is to what extent the earth has the, the facility and the ability to replenish itself, to revitalize itself, to heal itself. There's somebody I saying global warming is all just BS. It's no big deal. Well, that's, sorry, that, that's a lack of education. Yeah, I think that is a lack of education there. What's the badge on your Glen Gary? That's my own badge. Oh, right. Well, if you look at when we started lockdown, Scotty, um, and if you look up and down the country when everybody was locked in the house, you've seen that pollution decreased. And yes. And are starting to improve. Well, you look across. You look across the sky in uh, in Scotland of a morning when all the planes were flying, and there was a crisscross of jet trails. Uh -huh. You know, now that's that's fuel. Yeah. You know, that's that's kerosene, I think. Yeah. And it yeah. takes a fair bit of kerosene to get one of these big beasts up in the air. Yeah. So with none of them flying. Big difference with nobody driving. Big difference. Yeah, and you've seen how quick that things were starting to change. So if they did, I think if they did do a lot of the things that they're saying they're going to do, and within reason, uh, then I think there will be a lot of positive changes. But like when we're talking about those heat pumps at the side of the house that cost five thousand pounds here and something else a few hundred there. Realistically, families are not going to be able to afford that. No, that's the problem, you know, and I think if the government wants us to change, it shouldn't be a problem for them to say, just give everybody a heat pump then, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and we'll, we'll cover that. Here's some very interesting things, feedback-wise, Kareem. Um, I really struggle to eat a meal in the morning. That's my choice. The earth will be fine. It's humans that will suffer. Romans 12, 21. I know you're not a Bible man, Kareem, but Romans 12, 21. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Now, that's my kind of talking. You know, that is that is my kind of talking here. And uh, are you saying you've never been in a car or an aeroplane, says Apple user? Of course, I've been in a car and an aeroplane, Apple user. 
Most folk have. You know, silly questions as if saying, oh, maybe it's Scotty McLeod's fault for driving. <laughs> the Earth's on defrost since when the meteor hit the Earth, says first signal. Watching from the Philippines. Good morning, everyone. Tuning in from Sheffield as always, my friend. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely. The last three quick points, Scott, before I go, was last night, for me anyway, in the Merms, was the first that I had quite a lot of fireworks. Yes. My dogs yes. started to let me know straight away uh, that they were hearing fireworks and were quite nervous. So I think now, up till next week, the weather permitting every night, I think it'll be the start now that animals, elderly people with support needs are going to be really starting to get affected now. Yeah, it's such a shame. It really is because there's actually no need for it. You know, November the 5th, bonfire night, that's it, game over. You know, that's what we should be looking at. Uh, here's Big Shindo. Good and evil are only a matter of perspective. I can see where you're coming from, but good and evil are very, very real. I suffered from one very evil person. Yes. You know, so I mean, no, good and evil are very, very real. I have to tell you there. The Earth was a tropical planet before the meteor hit Earth, putting us into an ice age, says first signal. How very, very interesting, Karim. Yeah, because, because the sun was blocked out from the Earth for about two years. So yes. The Earth completely cooled down, so that would be the case. But once, obviously, when that settled, it will change again. Now, Kareem, as you know, we never stand still here. And uh, last night, I've added Twitter as a platform. Ah, now, I don't know if you've got a Twitter account. I don't have to. I tried it for five minutes, and it wasn't for me. I'm it wasn't for you, no problem at all. If anybody's got a Twitter account, do me a big favor. Go on to at Scotty McClue. Follow me and tell me if you can see anything from the internet phone in. I like, I like the, the, the Facebook, a.k.a. Meta, and I like uh, TikTok, and I do like the YouTube as well. And we like the YouTube. Excellent. Bless you, Karim. Lovely talking to you. I shall put all these subjects to not just one nation, but every nation in the world. To all nations. Thank you, dear Scott. Thank you, dear sir. Good night. God bless. Tara Karim. What a fine, fine fellow, our Karim. We do like that. There we are. Tremendous stuff. Now then, to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, good evening, Scotty. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Who's that, Jerry? Um, Sorry, Scotty. I was um, two things. I uh, just wanted to just check with you there. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Who's that? You need to tell me who it is. Sorry, Scotty. It's Charlie. Charlie. I thought it. Yes, I thought you were familiar there. I was just trying yeah. to grasp who it was. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, dude. Just um, just your, your your question there about Twitter. I'm on Twitter just now, and I can see everything. You know, you're you're live on Twitter. Wow. Is 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 the video up, Charlie? Absolutely. Good. And is anybody joining us? Can you see? Um, I can't really see. Well, people are commenting, Scotty. People are sharing. Excellent. So yes, that's that's what we yeah. want, Charlie. That is absolutely fantabulous. You are very kind. Yes, thank you, thank you. Because I I can't um, see everything on here. If you know what I mean. Exactly. I mean you're, you're multitasking already. Multitasking but, like a like a madman. And one wouldn't expect, you know, you to, to have all these tabs open, etc., and, and seeing all these things. So, yes, I understand. You understand? Otherwise, we'll have no room in the screen for the people, you know. Absolutely. Do you have a second screen, Scotty? Uh, well, we could actually start splitting things and all sorts of stuff, but I just like to keep it simple, Charlie, because it means we can get down to actually getting the conversations rather than me giving it, hang on a second. Just a wee minute. Here we go. All that stuff. Absolutely, absolutely, Scotty. The more, the more, uh, the, more uh, the more screens you have, the more fifty pences you need as well. Absolutely. What a top man, Charlie. Lovely to hear you. Hope you're enjoying the fun in. I am, Scotty. I just want to um, speak to you just a couple of things. Yes, do. Um, first, um, first of all, with regards to the, uh, the the budget this week, Scotty. Yes. Um, I think, you know, with, with um, the UK, well, obviously Glasgow uh, hosting the COP26, I thought the timing 
of the budget to say that um, you know traveling between Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, etc., um, would be cheaper taxation on these flights. I thought it sent a bad a bad message. You know, the, the, the timing. I got yes, I mean it's a strange thing to do to say we can make flying a lot easier for you, and then we'll have to go and sort out the climate change. I thought, you know, what would have been probably easier? I mean, obviously, the, you know, the rail has spent so much money in making them electrified, etc. And then at least, um, you know, to say, well, you get a £10 discount if you travel by rail. Yes, absolutely. Although the big floods down in the borders, apparently there's no trains at the moment between Dumfries and Carlisle. Yes, but, but then that's where the electric buses can, you know, can come in and we can, we can discuss that at the COP26 to say this is what's happening in Scotland, this is how we deal with it, and actually, you know, show ourselves as an example to, you know, other, other countries. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. Good point, Charlie. So you think start to get everybody onto the public transport again? Absolutely, yeah. I'll tell you the man that was responsible, and he was a Tory, was Dr. Beeching in 1965. Completely ruined this country. And to be honest with you, when you look, I know we love to have conservative governments. This country adores them. And I'm apolitical, so I'm not knocking them in any way. But what really does upset me is that when you look at the conservative record, you look at terrific damage being done to the infrastructure yeah. and to the ordinary people's lives. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was lovely, lovely. When I was a wee boy, you could have a day out on the railways. When I was nine, my 11-year-old cousin and I, he was an absolute railway freak. And uh, the two of us went uh, to see how many stations we could take in. Yeah. Well, you know, that's the thing, though, isn't it, Scott? Because, I mean, obviously, you know, a kid's, a kid's, a boy's kid's toy, really, would have been, you know, a train set, you know, so there would have been a passion for the trains, you know. You know oh, but, I, had, I had a Hornby Dublo. And my father did a lovely thing. He got a big piece of chipboard, a great big board, and he made two trestles for it, and he painted it green, and he drilled down with a mechano control box, and he put the wires underneath the table, and then up and into the into the rails, and then we got a wee LMS engine and two carriages. Oh, absolutely ruined. I mean, the whole thing was probably maybe 24 and 6. <laughs> you know, the thing is as well, though, Scotty, um, I, I do want to, you know, I, hopefully I'm okay to say the name, Peter Waterman. Um, he's a great trains enthusiast. Yes. And he's done documentary, you know, he's, he's done TV shows about it. He's even, I think he's even bought, you know, one of the old steamers, etc. Yes. And he's in, you know, that type of thing. And also the, you know, the, you know, like, convert them off into a, a train station type thing. Oh, fantastic. You know I, mean? I mean, we used to go up the... I had a neighbour and he had just got the lot. He used to spend most of his money on it. And it was just yeah. fabulous to watch several trains running at the one time, going up sidelines, all sorts of things. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great hobby. That I was swapping the points, swapping the points and reversing back up the line. Yeah, yeah it's... it's, it's, it's it's a, it's a, I would say it's certainly a great hobby. We yeah, sets of buffers, cows, sheep, the lot. Yes, absolutely. Cities, you know, um, we switches when it would, you know, uh, blocks of flats would light up. You know, I mean, how far could you take it? Well, yeah, this is the whole thing. You could take it anywhere. Tunnels go through the wall into a room and back out again. Absolutely. You know, and, and I'll tell you what, what also we had. My auntie gave me a royal mail coach. And you hung a little mail bag up on the station platform, and something tripped, and a little hatch opened and scooped up the wee mail bag. Yeah, that, yeah, there we are. And the thing is, as well, though, Scotty. I mean, I think if the train enthusiasts have got like a, a chai, you know, a, a, a copy of the the Channel Tunnel, that might be getting close. So they might need to. Oh, really for goodness' that. sake! That's no, the next thing. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> The other thing I just wanted to go on, Charlie. About yes, was about the the protesters, um, the insulate protesters, Scotty. I think we need to be looking at this in terms of the fines that are being issued, and I think we need to increase the fines, you know, quite significantly because 
Um, for people not being able to get their, their, their fathers to medication, etc. And yes. People not getting to work and uh, parents not being able to take their kids to school given the year that we've had. Um, yes, we're very lucky that we live in a democracy and we can stand up and be counted. But I think there's a huge difference when, you know, they try and stop industry and, uh, the, you know, the society running um, and trying to get ourselves back in our feet. So I think, you know, dramatically uh, increase these fines and, and make it so that you need to pay, say for example, £10,000 and you need to pay it within a year. Um, and if you don't pay it in a year, then your house might be at risk, etc. I think something needs to be done more dramatically. Something must be done. And I'll tell you, the thing about these protesters, I'm sure they're very conscientious, but they're not thinking about the people that they're actually harming. <laughs> You know, and I, and 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 I can't, I can't really, you know. I mean, these people. Apparently, I heard today on radio that apparently some of them are prepared to die for the cause. Yeah, you know, most people when you're protesting, they believe in, you know, they get a passion for what they believe in. So, you know, most people would, you know, they would do in, in that sense. But I think, you know, if you think to, you know, like. Um, if it's a main road, it's a, it's a main carriage, and they're there, and, and somebody's trying to get a power car to try and get eat the house, etc. Uh -huh. you know, and I mean, what if it caused a terrible accident? Say somebody didn't see them in a dark morning and ran into them, and that caused, and then everybody piled into the back of that person. Exactly. The other thing as well, you know, again, just to finish, um, Scotty, is that um, they were actually walking in between fast moving traffic and motorway. How they got, you know, between lanes, etc., is, is something else. But they think that if you're driving at, you know, 60, 70 mile an hour and you see somebody there ahead of you, you panic, you know. And well, you can't. And also, if the motorway is wet and you slam on, you know, you could lose control. Absolutely. And then everybody loses control. And, you know, I mean, the water that we've seen in central Scotland in the last two or three days has been just shocking. Absolutely, Scotty. Well, Scotty, thank you, dear. I'll leave you because I know you'll be stopping food. Well, stop it food, Charlie, but we've always got time for quality calls like yourself, sir. Thank you very much, Scotty. And uh, good evening, Scotty. And good. I'll, I'll leave you with that, okay? And dig you do. Thank you very much, Charlie. Fantastic stuff. That's yeah. our Charlie. Excellent call. Marvellous stuff. Thank you for that. Now, lots and lots of wonderful comments from you guys on the TikTok. So let's just see what's going on here. There's no such thing as evil. It's just an absence of good. It's like darkness. No such thing. Hello, Scotty. We're watching in County Down. The meteorites wiped the dinosaurs out. So there we go. Right, we better answer this phone. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's David. How about you? Oh, David. What a joy to hear from you. I've been really busy, son. No, but son, don't you worry about that. Everybody's been asking about you. That's the thing. Okay, that's fine, son. They've all been going. Do you hear from David? Is David all right, Scotty? Have you been in touch with David, Scotty? That's good. Then I heard Derek last week about um, something with it might be a statue or something. Yeah. He was wanting a statue in George Square, a life-size statue of Margaret Thatcher in George Square. I think the problem is if you did put that up there, it might come to some, there might be a bit of uh, ex external damage. Again, the last call was really good about roads and everything and traffic because I'm concerned in my street there's lights out and I phoned the council and it's going to take 60 days before they put lights in my street. And oh, for goodness sake. 60 days and I said... That's I bet, two I'll, months. I bet, oh, come on. What's happening here? Because uh, I've got all sorts of pavement working on with the new broadband. Yes. Council on the pavement. Yes. And there's, I've got a wee friend who's blind in one eye. Yes. She's got, but all the others will be picked up in a car. Right, Scotty, but that's not the point. And you don't want to be taking a tumble. It's terrible, Scotty, you know, right? It's disgusting. It's hard enough as it is, but I mean, so the state of the roads and the pavements like the third world. Yeah. It's, it's 
awful in my street. It just lights out outside my window and it's pure black, right? And I always be like all the stairs, but so but anyway, that's all wrong. They're all corrupted, you know. I know absolutely. We need to get like do you remember the miners used to have lamps on their hat? Yeah. Well we should maybe all get ourselves a miner's hat with a lamp. Torches, you know, yes, like that. this one night I thought with my torch, and I know I've got a lot of stairs out to my front door. You see, yes, so I really start, I really start down the stairs outside the body door. I know, well, this is the problem. This I is the problem. I know it's, it's, and the hazards, and then when the ice comes, we'll have the leaves next week, yeah, and then we'll have the ice. Oh. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And there's climate change. But I didn't want to see the climate change. Do you think they can change that by talking about it? Well, I don't know how much you see they can really want. If, if they're serious about uh, cutting the carbon, you really need yeah. Mr. Putin and you need the yeah. Chinese leader around the table. Yeah, well, he, 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 was, he, he wasn't coming. No, well, that's the thing. Well, I mean, you wouldn't have come either, you know, if somebody says, listen, we're looking for somebody that's, putting out smoke that's dirty in the windies. And you say, could could you find out? You wouldn't go along yourself if it was you that was dirty in the windies. No, of course. I mean, the other day, it was on the news that the country was at the China somewhere, or the smoke in China. Aye, but you see, these leaders aren't they wanting to be humiliated by the likes of our Boris and that lot, you know? I mean, I can survive that smoke. I would pass away because I've got COPD. Well, you see, the problem is absolutely, David, and uh, and yeah. we touched on that last week, and yeah. uh, we yeah. talked about breathing and your lungs and what have you. But yeah. Um, yeah. I can remember uh, smogs in Glasgow, and yeah. you couldn't uh -huh. see. I was coming along Argyle Street one night in a smog, yeah. and uh -huh. I thought, I don't know which way I'm heading. I didn't know if I was heading towards the central station or out to the yeah. Trong Gate. Yes, there you go, Scotty. I mean, you, you know, it's really... I told you a few years ago, I ended up getting pneumonia and I, I, I passed in my liver. Oh. That jumped because it's smoke. Oh. It's city centre. Not so good. Uh, no, no, the smogs. You used to be able to see... I mean, people died of them in days gone by. Meantime. Especially when all the factories were smoking and the houses were yeah. all smoking. Oh yes, it's mad. I and if you got low cloud that kept that down at ground level, people couldn't yeah. breathe. I remember a friend of mine yeah. telling me she had a new Macintosh coat in the 1960s uh -huh. and she was wearing it for the first time when she got home. It was all yellow. Yes. Oh, it's horrible. Awful. Yeah, yeah. Very acid as well. Lots of carbon in it. Oh, it's awful. And then the steamships. I can remember my grandfather telling me in the early 1960s the steamers yeah. had been told no more black smoke. No. I mean, look at your Kingston Bridge in Glasgow City Centre. Now, when I stayed there, you know, I was right up, I was the high flats facing on that, right? And every morning you opened your windows, and then one day I decided, don't do this, because they can, I seen what happened to my body, I was in hospital, as I said to you. And somebody, somebody's got to change, but Scotty, I think it might be too late, I don't know. Well, no, I don't think it's ever too late. I mean, if it's too late, then we've all had it anyway. But it's never too late. It's a bit like giving up smoking. It's never actually too late, even if you get yourself a, a yeah. few more days, you know? Yeah, you know, I understand, son. But again, you know, they're talking about all the, the dirty cities like Glasgow, the bins, the bags outside. We've all got bags and bins outside always. The bin men come off. And, okay, the bin men has changed their mind. They're not going to strike. That's cool. Is that right? Is that all sorted tonight? Yes, it's sorted. I'm Good for the bin men. I'm a big fan of the bin men. So am I. Of course I am. I mean, don't forget, it's got to take you to the beat. I mean, I make sure that. not to keep them back, but I love a chat with the bin men, you know. Of course. I, you know, even the strangers stop to strike as well. they got a deal. Aye, that's brilliant. That was very good as well. Good for them. <laughs> And so did the bin men, Scotty, so that's okay. That's okay, that's excellent. So every, everybody's getting sorted. Yeah, but Scotty, again, there's all the public bike, bike in the street, 
seen his picture. God, did you know that? You know. No, it's, it's, it's crazy stuff. It's very difficult to create. What we need is a lot less plastic. Yes, that's true. I built my plastic up in one, one bin. I know, but we need to have a lot less of it, David. You know, we're no needing all that. If you buy tomatoes, you're no needing them wrapped in plastic 10 inches thick that you, you have to virtually, you know, dynamite your way into the packet. I mean, most of these, I can't open them. I have to get a sharp knife to open them. I can't open a packet of biscuits. You have to go and get a knife. You think, I've been 10 minutes and somebody says, just pull the wee tab. Right, you do it, smarty pants. I was trying to open biscuits tonight, actually. Murder. I couldn't actually open the plastic. And see when we Clyde the Labrador was alive. You know, I tried to open stuff on the fly because he was upstairs kipping on the bed and then you would hear thud and he would appear beside you. Yeah, yeah. That's him going, is somebody opening biscuits down there? I heard that. Oh, wow. Oh, it's mad. Oh, jeez, oh. It's crazy, again, Edward, a few nights ago, he was a wonderful person. What a lad. Yeah, he was a wonderful person. What a lovely guy, he is. Yeah, oh. Amazing. I mean, he makes sense about depression, you know, how you just fix it out, uh, you know, and I get all that. You know what I mean? You've got to just go up and go for that. And yeah, course, absolutely. Exciting. No, everybody loved Edward the other night. I hope he phones in again. Yes, but Edward, if you're listening, phone in tonight. Phone in for a chat because everybody loves you. Everybody in yes. Scotty McClewland absolutely <laughs> loves you. Matey boy, calm down. Uh, Matey boy, listen, Matey boy, can you hear me? I loved you, but in the past, you were a bit um, upset. Aye, it was over the top. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. It was very interesting the other night talking about the organ it was, pipes. It was. It was calming right down. Calm down. Now, that's what people need to do. They need to calm down. David, you're going to be even more famous, son, because we're on Twitter tonight. We've added Twitter. Do you, do you have a Twitter account? Well, John has. Yeah. John has. Well, John tell has, John yeah. to go on to at Scotty McClue on yeah. Twitter and follow me and tell me what he thinks of the show on Twitter. Right, that's cool then. Oh, that's amazing. You know I mean? Um, so that's us know, starting the expansion, Davey. Right, that's cool. You that's know? Scotty, I said, you know, that's... Nice. This is not a radio, this is just internet, and it's amazing. It's you know, just incredible, you know, just what we've done. We're into our seventh week. That's amazing, Scott. I think I was really busy. I was buying new furniture in my house. No, no, listen, David, you never, ever, ever have to justify anything. Nobody uh, on I Scotty McClue's that. internet ever has to apologise yeah. or justify themselves, unless they've been very oh. cheeky, you know. Oh. No, 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 you don't you need know. to. No, we're all the same on here, and it's just lovely to hear yeah. you. Aye, and also, I love Dean. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, see, see how stories. Dean, can you hear me, Dean? Come on the phone. It's Get me. on, oh, absolutely. Oh, we love her. <laughs> Fantastic. David, wait, I've got to tell you this. When we're talking right. about, you know, coming on when it suits you and that stuff, I had a pal, yeah. and his granny used to say to them, they would say, Granny, yeah. we might come up uh, and see you on Sunday afternoon. And she used yeah. to say, well, if you do come up, we'll be very pleased to see you. And if yeah. you don't come up, we'll be just as pleased. Scottish grannies. Scottish grannies. Uh, Scottish granny. Scottish granny. Scottish granny. Scottish they did what? Oh, they had a wash of the sink. They didn't have a bath. Oh, no. I'll get a good wash of the sink, son. And they put the uh, the flannel on. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get a good wash of the sink, son. And they put the uh, the flannel on. And a wee bit, they put a wee bit of warm water on the sink. And then they got a wee bit of carbolic soap in the flannel and gave themselves a right good dished round. I mean, any days the sinks are actually bigger. Aye, aye, and they were fine. They smelled as fresh as a daisy in those days, you know. The, the, the smell a wee bit different because there was a lot more meat eaten. 
So you had that that slightly sharper smell off people in these days, and also the big smokers with pipes and things. Do you know what I mean? And then they had the bone comb out because you had nuts in your hair. Ah, the wee nitty comb and the Lysol. <laughs> That's right. And you had the bone comb out and try a damn shampoo. And they used to say, sit still, son, and keep your head still for a minute till I see what's going on here. <laughs> Amazing, son. And then they would say, I'm going to put the shed back in your hair. You're fine. Right, you get next call. Thank you. You take care. Thank you, do. Love to you and John. Thank you, do. La. Love you, Davy. Night, night. Ta la la. Top man. That's our David. What a wonderful call. You're live on Scotty's phone in. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello there, Scotty. Alex Robertson again. Alex, how lovely to hear from you. One of our finest Scottish actors. It's a pleasure to be back on you. Well, in fact, I'm not going to say finest Scottish actors. Finest actors. Thank you so very much. Yes, because you might want to work internationally. You might go on to Hollywood. <laughs> well, I had quite a few offers this year, but... Um, uh, I'd rather use my own naked tongue. I know what you uh, mean. Uh, well, you'll, you'll get plenty of use for it on here, I'll tell you. Oh, I know. And I wanted to say something. Uh, I was listening there. Uh, basically, Edward, do phone back because Scotty would like to hear from you. Yes. I that was who it was. Yes, Edward was the phone back. Remember, uh, or Eddie, whatever his name was, I just think. Edward. No, it was definitely Edward, I think. I don't think. Yes. I don't think I don't think we called him Ed or Eddie or anything. It was definitely Edward, and his call was outstanding. Yeah, because well, I think um, all the calls are outstanding. I've been listening for a long time. I mean, but still, game and pause. Just to oh wow, Alex, that is a big, big compliment indeed. Somebody was telling me recently. They said you, Scotty McClue, were the original inspiration for Still Game. I don't, well, I don't know. I mean, this was what somebody said to me, you know. Well, if you were, I, I, I only have a bottle. I, I don't think you drink. So if, if, I did, uh, if you did drink, I'd buy a bottle. Um, because obviously I've been in that three times. You have. Uh, playing the same character. It's a, I'll tell you, Alex, it's, 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 a, it's, a great, it's a great show, though. Uh, you know, it's, I've been lucky in my life that being my own sort of representative yes and you understand what i'm talking about um basically um i, I 18 years old yeah i got myself you know and rap scene is a, with a one line yes you know just play you know as a bus conductor um and i did ill three years before that get brain surgery gosh so i i for me it was like i had i, I wanted to keep going and I was in a double act, but a double act part, and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I was like, but <laughs> we were doing that since we were like 14 years old uh -huh. or something. And uh, I just thought, I really want to keep doing the double act because I was the sort of Eric Morecambe. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, and at the time I didn't wear glasses, now I do. And I think that's why, because I used to wear any glasses just to uh, uh, fit me. Um, so that my sort of, <laughs> you know, I could do the old day most of them. Wonderful. But Alex, that's the thing. And it all depends on, you, you never know what's happening. Things move on all the time. Uh, they always do. And you can buy it. It's like the ABBA and all this. Now ABBA starting to go back to business. Well, I don't want to run them down, obviously, but there's a concert, and everyone's buying tickets. But yes. I think, the, I think the show is, it's not them live, it, it's all video. And the big buzz I in the industry is that Scotty McClure is back on the internet. Well, that's the big thing. I had to have a Twitter, so I'm on Twitter, so I need to get you added. Um, have a wee look on there, yes, at Scotty yeah, McClure, I Alex. Just quickly, I just want to see... One thing that it might be very controversial, and I don't like to be controversial, especially when I'm going to do pantomime. I'm not going to say that I remember as a child, a bonfire night, 
And yes. I remember um, very young um, uh, watching the squibs, as they call them. The squibs, and, uh, that's it? Yeah, the squibs, and, uh, you know, everything get out the back door. And we had a dog, and that dog didn't bother. It didn't honestly ever come out and sit and watch. Uh -huh. um, and then, um, even the older I got, uh, you know, we always had uh, pets in our family. And anything, even outside my granny's back door, but the dog didn't bother. They came out and sat and watched and would like, they would lift, I'm doing it now, you can't see me, but <laughs> lift their heads up to the sky. Yes. You know, when the rocket took off. Yes. And wondered, oh, what's that? You know, and, but now it seems that I understand that dogs and, and pets get scared, but I don't know why years ago they didn't. But now seem to well, I think they did years yeah. ago. The only thing is there was probably a lot more street noise years ago. All right. Okay. You see, and the other thing is that dogs, I mean, you get dogs that go shooting, so they're used to loud bangs happening beside them, and a dog's uh, ears are very uh, sensitive. But I'm just saying, I'm not being whatsoever. I'm just saying that I feel that I remember years ago that happening, and then my cat, um, that, my cat's now passed away two years and I had to take it to get put it down. Uh -huh. But I had to put it down, it was 17 stone, it was too heavy. <laughs> so what happened was, <laughs> sorry, I had to throw an old joke. Well, a lovely old joke there, absolutely. I know, one of those, uh, basically, no, I had to uh, two years ago. And, but two years or three years before, you know, it was always at my window. And there was a big display in Paisley. Ah, yes. Right yes, Paisley used where to I do lived. good displays, yes. And I was right here where I live. And, and bang, 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 bang. And I was the one going, oh, God. Was that in the Barshaw Park? Um, it, no, I think it was there before, but now it was now in the town centre and it was all um, electric. So that it, ah, it was, right in, yes, uh, in at the, in at the town know. hall. Yeah, so then it's an old my um my cat used to just sit in the window and watch him. Aye. And I thought I but the cat I would you know well, I had to put down at nineteen. God. But when it was seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, it still sat there watching, you know. Um and I, that's where I don't understand it. Because I've never had a an animal that lived in my house that never knew or was that scared of fireworks. Interesting. No, Alex, no, I'm going to put I'm this. Not, I'm not being no, you're not. You're not. Of course you're not. No, I'm going to put this out to the people and see what the comments are on this. It's not in a bad way. You know, no, it's not a bad way. Don't, don't give it a thought. It's just a very interesting point. No, no, you're the genuine yeah. article, Alex. When I was younger, it just used to seem fine and then up until 2019, even the cat, must have been used to it. Yes. Because I was 19 years old, I don't know. Uh, and plus, the cat used to go out on its own and do what it did. Aye, well, cats do that. that. They do that, don't when they? I had a dog that was in the house all the time until you took it a walk. Absolutely. Or let it out in the back garden. Let me put this out to the nation and we will see what is what. I'm, a, I'm only asking. I'm not saying. No, 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 listen. It's, it's a very good point. Let me put it out and we'll see. Yes. Internet, that are shaking. Yes. And, and well, I've had it. I mean, my dogs, you know, my dog's very, very brave, but they knocked over a table one night trying to get behind it. Oh, I, when I was down in Manchester, you know, so I mean, I've seen uh, it firsthand, but that was like, that was really like uh, a war zone, you know? Understand just so it was just so heavily populated and everybody letting off fireworks at the one time. Isn't it built up areas that are more? Yes. Um, you know that you know, like say Glasgow, for example, um, has got maybe a big display going on, but there's also a hundred and. Aye, and displays usually charge money, and people don't have money for it. But maybe a hundred thousand. Same area in Glasgow. Yes. Set off their fireworks at the same time. Exactly. And it might be 
more that where you live. I used to live in Johnston. Yes. Um, I, 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 That's I, a nice I, part I, of the world. You know, you know uh, the actress Phyllis Logan. Phyllis, yes. Uh, she used to actually go to school with my mother. Uh, used to, my mum sadly passed away. But, um, um, Outstanding she, actress. a place called, not just Johnston. She always used to say, I, I'm from Redfordshire. No, Johnston Castle. That's what I, I know. I know exactly where you are. The houses round the castle. I, I know it very well. I grew up. I grew up there my whole life, and I loved there. And I want to maybe go back now. I've only moved away for four years. Fantastic. Well, you might want to get back to your roots. You see, Alex, I'm going to dash. You take great care of yourself. Can I finish off by saying this? That basically, then I think that wasn't as populated as like Glasgow is. No. Or as uh, Paisley is. You know, I think Johnston Castle, for example, uh, we all then were own. Um, yes. And we built our own fireworks as kids. Like, not fireworks, sorry. Our own uh, bonfire. Yes. We used to chop everyone's door asking for, you know, bits of wood, anything they had to burn. So, and a penny for the guy? It's wonderful. Right, let me go and see whatever it is saying to Alex. No, no, I'll need, I'll need to dash. And what's that? Oh, I ignore that. The Facebook's been hacked. No, completely ignore that and certainly never ever send any money. I don't put out Facebook requests. No, no, I knew that. So that's why when I that's what you're, 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 there we are, that's our Alex, one of our top actors, and uh, he's in the pantomime in Falkirk, so look out for that. Uh, which meteorites, Scotty? Eh? Uh, what have we got here? Travelling from the outskirts into town. The buses are infrequent. Scotty, it's Ying and Yang. It will be a big funeral for Walter Smith outside Ibrox, says Angela. There we are, dinky do. Now, who else have we got here? Hang on. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Scotty. Ah, it's Glenn. How lovely to hear from you. How's it going? Oh, oh, wonderful. It was good to hear Alex there, but I was having to get on because time's tight. Definitely. You, you're not on long enough, are you, Scott? What's that? What's that, Glenn? You're not on. You're not on long enough, really, are you, to be honest? No, well, uh, did you hear me say we've added Twitter? I have, yeah. Yeah, and I don't know, have you got a Twitter account, Glenn? I have, of course I have, yes. Guys. Right, and have you followed us? I will do, yeah. Will do. Will do. Follow well. us and tell me what you're seeing when you're on there. That would be appreciated. I'll have a butcher's letter, Scott. Wonderful. Have a quick butcher's love. Good to hear that one again. You've got Mrs. Brown's been on tonight, Johnny Scott. Uh, Who's been on tonight? Mrs. Brown. Uh, Brendan. Brendan O'Carroll. Mrs. Brown's boys. Oh, Mrs. Brown's boys. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I yes. Watched, I haven't watched it yet. I were going to watch it, but you know that like, what you're missing about the other platforms. Oh, wonderful stuff. We love that. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'm catching up on something, Scott. Yeah, oh. we like it. Good. It's yeah. good quality stuff. He's a brilliant old on comedian, Scott. He's oh, fantastic. Like Fantastic I mean, stuff. Yeah, I could have seen you as one of his uh, relatives. Scottish yes, Scottish yes, Scottish absolutely. Scottish. I, I could have been a relative there now, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Mrs. Brown. How are you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely brilliant, Scotty. You know? Louise is saying she watched it. It was very funny. It's, um, it's his, I think it's his 10th year anniversary, apparently. Right. 20th. 20th. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Tonight at 9.30, Mrs. Brown's Boys. Yes, indeed. When it first started, Scott, they played different roles in it. Yep, they did. I remember that. But I also loved the sort of theatre side of it. You know, when you saw all the lights and things. Yeah. Nothing. It, it, just, it just 
suppose it as it is. Yeah, absolutely. We love all that. I mean, credit to the guy in it and credit to your organisation, to be honest. I oh, set all that up. Tremendous. Wonderful I stuff. Like I don't like stage comedy, though, Scotty, to, to be honest. Yeah. Yes, I do. I mean, well, Dad's Army, you see, Dad's Army, they were all theatre actors. Yeah. And if you can hold the audience spellbound. I mean, when they get the old archives back, when it first started in technical with black and white, Scotty, and all that, it's like... Oh. Hidden footage. Now you're it's talking, when you see... Although, see when you see early television... Some of it's yeah. amazing. I mean, you'd look at Z Cars. Z Cars was live. Yeah. You know, they used to, that's actors doing a television live. Is that the Z Cars binge on what they play at the Everton game, Scotty? Isn't it? It's yeah. that good. Da 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 da. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Great who have we got here? I mean, Kirby the Annihilator says, The Oasis of Humanity in the Desert of Depravity. How do you do, Mr. McClue? Brilliant stuff, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Out in America there, do you know what I mean? I love it. Yeah. We're absolutely international. There are a few hours in front of us anyway in America anyway, aren't uh, A few hours behind, I would say, I think. Are they not? Sorry, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think they're about, is it not five hours behind? So wait a minute. They'll be having their supper now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you can have your supper any time, really, Scott. You can't you're eating. Well, you can. I mean, I don't. It's very strange when people say, right, that's lunch. You think, well, we're not actually hungry. And 11s and all that. 11s is, yeah. Do you want just maybe a sandwich and a biscuit? You can eat any time you feel like it. Well, you can, but, I mean, you see, when, when, when I was little, my mum used to make us the full breakfast. Yeah. Then somebody would get peckish about 11, say, I'm just fancy a bacon roll. And then it's a rank of a meal that now, isn't it? You know, and then lunch, you know, a big a big plate of scotch broth. Yeah. Uh, and a plate of mince and potatoes and some steam pudding and custard. Beautiful. I mean, I don't know how we were able to walk. <laughs> what about this? Coronation <laughs> Street was live when it first started, starring the young oh, yeah. Kenneth Barlow. Is it 60-something years this year, Scotty, apparently? William Roach. Yeah, wow. That'll be about right. That's amazing. Well, it's quite, even June Brown in his tenders. June, oh, fantastic. Know. Yeah, she knows Scotty McClure. Yeah, brilliant actress. Good evening, Scotty. The Argyle cap suits you, says Chris, in America. We change the clocks this weekend, Scotty, don't we? Hey, we do, so that'll be changing the times for next week for the fun in, Glenn. Yeah. Uh, what about that? Um, do we go back an hour? We do, don't we? Uh, no, no, no. We go, uh, yes, yeah, spring yeah, forward, no. fall back. So we go back yeah. an hour. So that will make for a bit of a change. Definitely. And you know? Summertime. So you won't be going to your bed at 10 o'clock at night. You'll be going at 9 o'clock effectively. Isn't that right? Yeah. And the phone will be at 9 o'clock. They won't be, obviously. Well, it'll be on at 8 o'clock, is that right? Yeah, but it will be 9 o'clock on your clock, if you know what I mean. You should, come, you should come on and confuse people at that time. Oh, no, don't oh, start no. that. It's got to get the phone in going at 1 o'clock. <laughs> you can't beat the old school meals, says Louise. Glenn, I'm going to dash and see who's about. You take care, la. What's your favourite dessert then? I think the steam pudding and custard or the apple crumble. Or the spotted... Uh, the spotted dick, the yes, very good. Yeah, the spotted yeah, dick, yeah. you can't beat that. Or what about the Bakewell tart? Jam roly poly. The jam roly poly, love. <laughs> yeah, or, or, the, or the traditional favourite deal, Scotty. Yeah, yeah all that stuff. The brandy snaps, yep. the knickerbocker yep. glory. Toad in the hole, Scotty, a bit of sausage. Toad in the hole, you can't beat it. Lovely stuff. Hated the rice pudding, says Richard. You can make your own rice pudding, though, can't you? Well, you can, actually. Have you ever heard of tapioca? I have, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever heard of sago? I can't say that, Ah, there's one for you. Glenn, I'm going to dash. Dinky do la. Dinky do, Scotty. Love you lots. Man. Top Dinky man. Dinky Top man. Thank you, Dula. Right, to the telephones as quickly as possible, guys. We're very, very, very busy tonight. 
Uh, was you on a radio station? I was on 35 radio stations. There we are. Probably soon going to be on more again. Dinky do, says Aiden. Dinky do, Aiden. We're live on Scotty's phone in. Hang on a second. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? There we are. They obviously can't. Fair enough. Give us a call back, guys. Uh, there's Jack saying dinky do, dinky do, Jack. Hello, Scotty. Hello. S C O T T I E, Jack. That's the one. Right. We seem to have missed that call. <laughs> Here it comes again. You're live in Scotty's phone. Who's that? Ah, Martin. How are you, Lala? Where, where have you been, Lala? We missed you tonight. Very, very busy tonight, Martin. Absolutely, but fantastic. You know, we're now on Twitter as well. Lovely. Oh, you can you shove your granny off of us. Oh, you can shove your granny off of us. No. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Plus, there's also a song called The Jelly Peace Song as well. The Jelly Peace Song, yes. You can oh. throw pieces out a 20 story flat. Yes, I just actually love that song. Someday we can, someday we can have a sing song on um, the, into the phone. In this well, one. no, we can't, you see, because we would be copyrighted. Are you? Mm, yes. Okay. Yes, so we'd have a problem. So, um, how's your uh, how's your night been good? Gorgeous night tonight. Fantastic. Very, very busy. Uh -huh. Tomorrow's Halloween. Uh, Halloween is, uh, is it not uh, Sunday? Yeah, Sunday, yeah, Sunday, yeah. But I think a lot of people will be doing it tomorrow night. Yeah. Yes, cool. that's the one night of the year I don't have to dress up. I like it. Cool. So, um, so how, um, so what else has been happening? Well, that's kind of it, Martin. You know, that's you up to date. Yeah, so um, how's your new Twitter account getting on? My new? Um, Twitter account. Oh, the Twitter account. Well, we'll find out later, but it's certainly been a very good night tonight. Uh -huh. Shout out to D and shout out to Su Susan as well. Shout out to D and Susan. to Susan. Absolutely. Um, Susan's not on tonight. She's away um, to a hen party, so she is back on Monday. Yes. You're no on Twitter, says Eddie. So there you go. Yes. Love, well, Semolina. I'll phone you tomorrow. Ten. Tomorrow at 10. Dinky do. Yeah, thank you, dear. Love you, bye. Lovely to hear you. ta -la. There we are. That's our, uh, that's our Martin. Wonderful stuff. Now then, who have we got here? I'm just having a wee look to see what's happening here. Eddie Howe. This show is drivel new. It was good 25 years ago. Eddie Howe, I don't think we want you on here. I think you're drivel new. This is far better than it was 25 years ago. Just home, too late to call you with my wee ghost story for Halloween. Maybe tomorrow. That would be great, Neil. Take you do, Scotty Law. Uh, Eddie says, Eddie, I don't think we like you on here. I think we'll dump you. We'll put you in time out. There we are. That's what we'll do with you. Because that's not very nice. You don't sound very nice. Anyone watch Alex Belfield, they're asking? Yes, I had to pull Alex up because he was checking up about uh, about Scotland. So there we are. Dinky do. Lovely to have you all with us. Uh, what have we got here? Chipboards heavy. I don't think it was the 1960s. No, no. No, no. The chip, it was definitely chipboard. I think you're thinking of blockboard. That's much heavier. Chipboard was lighter. I had a brown royal mail coach, says Andrew. Fantastic. We're talking about the railways. Now you're talking the wonderful D. Gourley. Lovely to have you here. Alex says, as an actor, I think of the theatre first, which is the way forward for actors. TV comes later. Just need to learn the trade first. There we go. Old school coconut cake. Murray's not on Twitter, he says. Or am I not on Twitter? Uh, Dinky do. Are you in still game? I'm not Aiden. Sadly, so there you are. Guys, we're out of time. Good after dash. Dinky do and taralas. Wonderful. That's what it's all about. Uh, 
Join us tomorrow night, that Saturday night at 10 o'clock sharp. Be there on B Square. Until then, this is Scotty McClue saying have a wonderful night. Stay fabulous. Dinky-doo and ta-da-la. <laughs>